Hey, what's going on, everyone? Kyle Henderson alongside Andrew Bone. Breaking news, breaking news. JV on Cohen has committed to the Alabama Crimson Tide, six foot five, three hundred pounds out of the class of 2020. Here with Andrew Bone to break it all down. Bone, big pickup for the Alabama Crimson Tide. What does it mean so far? Well, it's a big commitment. You know, it's um, you know, it's probably I guess of the week leading up until Nash National Signing Day or this early signing period because you know we're one week out from uh, from the early signing period and everybody's really excited that you know, a lot could. A lot can take place over the course of the next week, um, and this was kind of, you know, an expected commitment for Alabama. Now, Davion Cohen did not want to announce a commitment today. He wanted to wait until next week. He wanted to do it at his high school, wanted to announce uh, in front of all of his friends, his family, and, and do all that. Well, unfortunately, and this ha this happens from time to time where, um, you know, maybe a kid has uh, you know, told a uh, school that he's no longer going there. And, um, you know, they kind of, you know, may leak the word out that, that, um, that you know, they're either not taking him or he's going somewhere else. So it unfortunately kind of ruins the moment for him. Um, you know, I talked to Jamie and I Cohen earlier today. Uh, when the news started kind of leaking, you know, we saw some stories that came out, um, you know, from uh, – I guess from the Auburn side that, that Auburn was dropping him, that they were no longer taking his, uh, his commitment, you know, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, you know, he didn't really like that, you know, saw that out there and, you know, told me actually, you know, it had informed me that, that he had committed to Alabama on Sunday. Now, prior to his commitment to Alabama, he called Auburn, called coach Gus Malzahn and informed them that he was no longer committed, that he was decommitting and that he was going to be going to Alabama. Well, um, you know, a couple of days later, word comes out that Auburn's dropped them, that they're no longer taking them. So, you know, I, I don't know if it was, you know, if it was anything malicious to, um, you know, or if they want to, you know, or if they were really just trying to, you know, maybe focus on some other targets. But, um, but you know, unfortunately, that's the situation that, that Javion Cohen ended up being in. He had to announce his decision a little bit sooner than expected, but, you know, grand scheme of things, doesn't really matter. He's committed to Alabama. That's where he was, you know, and that was kind of where everyone expected him to go, um, you know, next week when he was going to make that decision. So, um, you know, big commitment for Alabama. He's an in-state kid, uh, Central Phoenix City, which is right there in Auburn's backyard. So, uh, so going in there, uh, getting him on board, I think, uh, you know, I think it's a big commitment for Alabama. Now, what what type of player is he? You know, I look at him. You know, six foot five, three hundred pounds. Obviously, it looks like he might project to the tackle position, um, seeing that he's recruited by Charles Kelly and Kyle Flood. But what type of player is Alabama getting to this class of two thousand twenty in terms of, um, you know, just kind of the the fold that this type of lineman is? Well, very very athletic kid. Um, you know, I think the one of the biggest things with with Javion Cohen and, and we we kind of talked about this on the Bama Insider message board that. You know, back during the spring when Alabama started evaluating all their offensive line targets, um, you know, he was one of those guys that they really liked a lot. But at the same time, um, you know, I, I believe he had gotten mono or something. Um, you know, I can't remember exactly exactly what it was that he had lost a lot of weight. He had gotten down to like maybe 260 pounds, and and Alabama told him they said, "Hey, we like you. You know, we want we want you, but." We really want you to get your weight up. We need you to get to, you know, 285, 290 pounds the whole week and really, um, you know, push for you to be a part of this class. Well, you know, they started evaluating him throughout the, his senior season after he had committed to Auburn, and um, and he had gotten his weight back up. He had gotten up to about 285, 290 pounds. Um, came back, came to Tuscaloosa for an, uh, an unofficial visit for the LSU game. Um, and just kind of fell fell in love with Alabama. He, um, and, you know, he kind of grew up in an Alabama household. Both of his parents are Alabama fans, so uh, so it probably wasn't going to take much to, you know, if they were really, if Alabama was really going to push for him, you know, they were going to have a good chance to uh, to flip him away from uh, from Auburn. But you know, he's got a long wingspan. He's very athletic. Um, you know, we had a chance to see him at the uh, what was it the 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 rivals camp in Atlanta back during the spring. I think he walked away with MVP honors at that camp. He was really good, uh, you know, got, got voted as one of the top overall players at the camp. Well, that's when he got, you know, after that's when he kind of got sick. He had lost a bunch of weight. He had gotten invited to the Rivals Five-Star Challenge. Didn't do as well. So his ranking kind of slipped a little bit. Uh, but I think, he's a, uh, I think he's an excellent football player, and I think he's got a chance to be really good 
uh, you know, in the future for the Crimson Tide. Well, when I look at the class in 2020 for Alabama, I see that there's only now three linemen in this class. Is there a chance that Alabama picks up any more offensive linemen, or is it going to be under five offensive linemen in this class in 2020? Yeah, I think I think they're probably going to be under five. Um, you know, uh, right now, they have three: uh, Javion Cohen, um, uh, Damian George, and Seth McLaughlin. All three of those guys plan on signing with Alabama next week. None of them are waiting. Now, Cohen and um, Cohen and George will not enroll early. The only one that's enrolling early is Seth McLaughlin. Now, Alabama may kick the tires on a few guys. You know, there's some guys that are out there that are still. Um, you know, still might be available, um, and they'll probably wait and see who is available after the early signing period and maybe try to get some guys on campus for official visits. But, you know, a lot will depend on where the numbers are, you know, how many guys does Alabama get over the course of the next week and then kind of make a decision, hey, you know, which players remain important and, um, you know, which positions are, uh, are top priorities between uh, January and February. Bone. The early national signing period is just about here. Next Wednesday, we'll be breaking it all down on BamaInsider.com. Who are we trending? Tell fans on YouTube and why they need to convert to BamaInsider.com. Who are, we, who are we tracking as we get down to the early national signing period of this signing day calendar? Well, we're tracking a lot of kids. I mean, there's a lot going on right now. Um, you know, if you're an Alabama fan, you need to be on BamaInsider.com because you know, there's about eight or nine guys that really, we're really watching uh, that can really make or break this recruiting class in terms of it being, you know, maybe a top five class to potentially even the number one recruiting class in the country. I, I certainly believe that they have a shot to really close strong. Uh, they may even have some some surprises that happen. I mean, and, and uh, I say surprises, um, you know, guys that, you know, Alabama probably didn't feel like they were – you know, really in on it with, um, you know, a month or so ago. Now it's starting to seem like Alabama's got a, got a chance, and we'll see kind of what happens over the course of the next week. But you know, a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of in-home visits that have been happening this week. We've been talking to a lot of different guys, some big ones still happening tonight, tomorrow, and then you got some official visitors coming into Tuscaloosa this weekend. So there's going to be a lot, of, a lot of really big recruiting scoop going on over the course of the next uh, seven days. So I would not – uh, be anywhere else other than the Bama Insider uh, recruiting board. Go to BamaInsider.com. Look for the sign-up tab. Right now is the perfect time to sign up for BamaInsider.com. Think about it. you got signing day, the early national signing day. Next Wednesday, you can get all the scoop from Bone right now. Go to the website. Look for the sign-up tab. Promo code is Nike. You get 25% off your annual subscription, and you get a $75 gift card to Nike.com. Don't miss this opportunity. Go to BamaInsider.com. For Andrew Bone, Kyle Henderson, we'll catch you back at BamaInsider.com.